today we're here to do a focused review on a product that I love and it is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and it's right here. Let me get rid of the top so you can see it without the glare. Oh, doesn't fold back all the way. It is amazing. This is $25 and I don't have a lot of experience with like contour palettes except for my Too Faced um, chocolate uh, cocoa, uh, cocoa contour, what is it called? <laughs> but this has a little more of a range of shades. It's kind of closer to like the Anastasia contour palette and all those other ones. It's very like, I, mean, it's, I don't know if it's quite a dupe because I've never tried it, but that, th this is their version of that. Um, and for a drugstore product, it is amazing. So this is the way it comes and I just did some research and on the website um, there's 12 colors that you could fit in here. These are little um, re-poppable pans, so they pop out really easily, um, but they don't like fall out, but you just gotta kind of use your thumb to get them out. But they do come out, and they have 12 refillable colors. I'm not sure if you can buy this palette separately and then fill them up with what you want. This is how it comes if you bought it in a store. Like I said, it's $25. Comes with a shimmery white shade, kind of a matte cream color, a matte yellow color, which is amazing. And then this is more of like a yellowy, goldy highlight shade, and I popped these out. I tried to find the names of these and I could not find them anywhere on this palette. But they do, like I said, there's only eight in here, but there's 12 that you could potentially put in here. So I'm sorry, I don't know which ones are which. And then for contouring and bronzing down here, you have a nice kind of warm bronzy color. A little bit darker with a little bit of shimmer, I think. Maybe not. No, no shimmer. I can't really tell. This one is my like contour shade that's like the ashy taupe color and then this one's obviously just a little bit too dark for me. But all the other ones I can use which I think is really cool for being such a fair skinned gal. But I think these are so amazing! The consistency of these powders are really really nice. NYX has some of my favorite powders ever out of all makeup not just the drugstore. And my two favorite things about this palette is mixing these two colors underneath my eyes. And I'm just, I'm new to like putting a highlight or any kind of color underneath my eyes to set my concealer. I never used to do that. I don't know why. I would just use my normal powder that I put all over my face. I didn't use a different one. Um, but like I said, Jaclyn Hill always talks about her banana powder from Anastasia and it's a very yellow powder which resembles that. And I like to mix both of them. Um, this one is also very pretty. It's just kind of a matte cream skin color with like a little bit of a brightening effect so it's really really nice and it stays really well all day and I just feel like it makes me look more awake and really helps set my concealer because depending on which concealer I use some crease more on me than others but um if I use these and I don't normally crease so those are my two favorite parts and then I also love this third one in for like I said contouring it's the like ashiest taupe shade out of all of them. I use this with my Real Techniques 301 Bold Metals brush just to carve out a little bit of a shadow so that when you're looking at me straight on it kind of looks like I have cheekbones even though I really don't because I have the roundest face in the entire world. But I still have fun using this and um, if you don't want to pay $25 for this whole kit, the NYX HD Blush in Taupe is a great alternative for a um, contour shade. It's, a gr it's literally taupe so it's great for shading. Um, but if you do want to spend the 25 bucks, this is literally quite amazing. You get two highlight shades, which I love. I prefer this one because it's kind of, it reminds me of Becca Opal, but not as intense. I'm wearing it today. I did a little demo for you guys. And as you can see, it's like a nice highlight, but it's, it's subtle. It's not as dramatic as that Becca Opal would be because that one is really dramatic and you need to like be going out on the town to wear that one. But this one is a really nice gold shimmery everyday one and I really like it. I also like this white one, but I would use this one more. When it comes to like bronzing up the rest of my face, I use this shade right here just because it's the lightest bronzing shade. I don't want to go too heavy, but I could mix them if I wanted to. Up until today, I thought this had shimmer in it, but I'm, I don't think it does. So it's really pretty. I love just like bronzing colors. And the past two years I've really become obsessed with bronzer when I never used it in my life ever But anyway, I think this is a great palette for the money if you can buy the palette separately and fill up the little spots The powders are five dollars each and what I do like about it is if I ever run out of like I will run out of these two shades so fast and when I do I can rebuy them for five dollars and pop them back into my palette unlike some of my other eyeshadow palettes where I'm like worried like oh my god I'm gonna run out of this color and then I'm gonna want it again but I have to buy the whole palette it's not like that with this which I really really like. NYX you did it again I love this thing as as far as my first like official contour palette this is an A plus Hopefully I don't get addicted and buy more, but I really, really like this one and I hope you guys check it out because I think you'll really like it and it's a great drugstore option. Like, it is so good. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a...
thumbs up if you did. I will see you next week. I hope you have a great weekend and I love you and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and yeah. Okay, love you, bye. Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a collective haul of a bunch of random crap and I just got a text message. It's not a very good start to a video. So my mom is in town, so we did some shopping and we've been to some random places and I found some good steals. So I'm excited.